Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Police Quest in Pursuit of the Death Angel. Last time out, I think actually went pretty well. We did our first investigation, solved a bit of a crime, a collision. Uh, well, we didn't solve it, but we, we managed to do all the things we needed to do. And now I think we're probably heading off to Caffeine Castle. Now, I have no idea where Caffeine Castle is. Um, you patrol the streets near Carol's Caffeine Castle and the famous Wino Willie's beer joint. <laughs> Okay, apparently we're near Caffeine Castle, so <laughs> that's quite funny. I don't know if maybe the the display message comes up if you're near it or something. So is it this place? I'm guessing it's this place here with the police car outside it, actually. Um, and that's probably Wino Willie's next to it. Uh, get out. Uh, not our. Get out. This is not a good place. Oh, no. Okay. Do we have to get closer to the to the pavement or something? Oh, do we have to like pull in here? Please tell me we can like get out here. Oh, there's no reason to stop at this location. Okay. Oh, have we really got to pull in that close to the curb? What? <laughs> nice job, Crash. That's one way to get... What did we crash into there? Well, we're off we're off the mark with a death already. Um <laughs> What did we crash into? <laughs> I actually don't know how that happened because I, I turned I went south, not north, and apparently we crashed into the police car, I'm guessing. That's a bit random. Um okay, fine. Oh God, do, why do we why do we have to get so close to, oh no this is evil if it is a case of needing to be close to it this is evil let's try it again this this could be a potentially painful sequence couldn't it so it looked like before that brown car came down here okay so we need to be like this close to it i'm guessing can we just like edge forwards that's got to be close enough, surely. Get out. Yes! Okay. <laughs> We're here. Right, let's save. Um, caffeine. Caffeine Castle. Is that how you spell caffeine? Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's going on today. Right. Um, look around. This is the front entrance of Carol's Caffeine Castle and the lovely Wino Willie's Cocktail Lounge. Okay. Uh, open door. Get out. Closed door. Don't want to leave the car open, do we? Uh, and we can probably, once we get over here, set the game speed back to fast because we are moving ridiculously slow. Uh, let's head into the Caffeine Castle. So I think the code we had was that it was a meetup or something. Look around. This is your favourite coffee shop. Carol, the busy but friendly waitress, makes the strongest coffee in town. There's a menu on the left wall and a telephone on the far wall. The restroom is down the hall from the phone. All right, let's have a look at the menu then before we sit down. wonder what goodies we can get here aside from coffee. You look over Carol's blue plate specials du jour. Filet of hummingbird breast. Pigsty stew. Fried pork rind. Yum. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound like the nicest stuff, does it? Um, Sit down, I guess. Uh, talk. Boy, this weather's been great. Uh, okay. Steve looks like he's on a caffeine high. Can we talk to Steve? Hey, Sonny, it's good to see you. Uh, okay. I mean, I'm sure we got a thing telling us to, to come here. Hey, Sonny, it's good to see you. Um, can we get a coffee? You don't need it. We... Steve says, boy, it sounded over the air like you had a real mess on your hands at that 187 scene. Okay, so we just had to wait for him to say something then, I guess. Can we just... No, okay. Okay, Carol sets your coffee down and says, here you go, big boy. One caffeine IV. Okay. Caffeine IV, like it. Um, can we drink the coffee? You slam back the entire mug of Jamaican Java. Your eyeballs roll back in your head. Okay. <laughs> nice. Oh, the phone's ringing. Do, do we need to answer that? Don't bother to get up. Carol answers her own telephone. Okay, fine. <laughs> I like that they actually planned for these eventualities in this. It's quite good. 
There's a lot more story in this than there was in the early Space Quest games, actually. I quite like it. Carol yells at you from across the room. Officer Bonds, there's a Detective Hamilton on the phone for you. Okay, right. Well, we'll get up now then. Okay, let's use the phone. What does Hamilton want? You take the phone and hear, Bonds, this is Detective Hamilton. We identified the 187 victim in the car as Lonnie West, a local small-time drug dealer. Believe it or not, he's the second small-timer to get his ticket punched in the last two weeks. I just wanted you to know about the West sin about West since you worked at the scene. Got to run, got another call waiting. Don't spend the whole day drinking coffee. Well, we got some score for that. Nice. Do we sit back down? Let's save. Um guess we'll just call it um hamilton because we spoke to hamilton uh let's see if he's got anything else to say for, to us old steve or whether we just need to head out i don't know this i get the feeling this is the type of the game that as well if we sit here for too long and miss something it's going to be like you didn't do your job minus one point or you know you've been fired <laughs> start again Okay, nothing seems to be happening, so I'm going to get up and go. Really paranoid about getting game overs. Uh, was this the way out, or did we come in? No, I guess we came in down at the bottom. Do, do we need to pay for the coffee? Pay coffee. Carol likes officers to frequent her establishment. Many items are on the house. Okay, so it's on the house. Fine. That is fine. Can we go into Wino Willies while we're here, or is that not something we want to do? We can. Look around, some choice artwork. Lots of blood, sweat and tears and other things have been deposited in, in wino willies. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hi buddy, what would you like to quench your thirst? Uh, I, mm, if you change your mind, just holler. I don't think we want to be drinking on the job, so <laughs> for now, let's not do that. Anyway, we'll try not to smash into the, uh, the other car on the way out. Uh, I, I'm guessing we don't need to do a vehicle inspection now. I, I would hope but um yeah let's save it and call it back on patrol i mean it'd be pretty evil if it made us do another vehicle inspection right so let's also go back to normal and then we will drive uh i would guess we just again patrol now until we get some sort of thing come through on the radio so we're up at map A3. It's a, it's a shame the map that I got from the manual doesn't actually break it down per like subsection of the map like that, but we know roughly where we are, so that's that's fine. Um, also, I've been told by Crystal Wood that I think F4 is the repeat, um, repeat the command button, so we will be using that from time to time. In fact, I might even give that a go in a second by doing look around because we're at a red light. Blue Room is in this part of town, F4. Okay, now find a good place to stop. Oh, maybe it's not F4. I don't know. Um, let's see what happens here. Apologies if you can hear the cat in the background. Um, there's no music in these games, so things that normally get drowned out by in-game audio probably aren't going to get drowned out in this. Are the lights going to change? Or are we going to stay... Didn't he just go for a red light? Alright, well, we're green now. I mean, technically, he was on a green light, but then turned right into a red light, so I don't know. I'm not used to this sort of road layout being from the UK. Hardly any of our, any of our roads are in grid shapes. They're mostly in just weird shapes, to be honest. So the whole grid thing to me is a bit alien. We're quite high on score already, though. I've got to say, score 40 out of 245. Ticking along nicely. Okay. Oh, I felt like we were going to crash there. <laughs> Maybe we were, I don't know. So I don't know how much of the game is going to be like these little patrol sections. I would imagine they, they do make up a, a chunk of the game. Seeing as I've been told this is more of a police simulator than anything else, like a, an early police simula simulator game. So you have to play it as if you are actually a police officer rather than a jokey thing. Though it seems to be a lot of people in swimming pools around here. Maybe this is the fancy part of town. Do we need to use the radio? Apparently, when I was looking through the manual, it said not to use the radio unless you're responding to something and to, you know, avoid using the radio unnecessarily. But maybe while we're going around, we can sort of learn a bit about the map. Cotton Cove is located here near the lovely Clearwater River. Cotton Cove. That sounds quite nice. Nice park there. More people in their houses. 
Very nice. Yeah, there is the cat, like I said. Oh, is that like a, a mansion or is it like the town hall or something? Right, we're going to stop there. Look around. You are near the Lytton Courthouse and the city jail. Oh, okay, cool. So the jail and the courthouse are here. I mean, nothing seems to be happening story-wise, though, which is interesting. I don't know if we're waiting for anything in particular to happen. I mean, you'll go, you guys will have to let me know in the comments below. Is there a lot of this? And is it the type of thing that I should just cut out of the videos? Should I just cut out most of the patrol? You cruise your beat just aching to write a ticket. So, I mean, is this the type of thing that I can, I'm can? i going to have to cut a lot of footage out and just maybe skip to the parts where a message comes up? Please do let me know in the comments below because with this being a blind playthrough, I have no idea what to expect. But, you know, you guys probably don't want to see just countless episodes of me driving around waiting for something to come in on the radio. So, um, yeah, let me know, please. Maybe we have to go to certain areas to trigger the commands. I don't know. I don't know if maybe you have to go to a certain section of the map at a certain time for a message to pop up or whether it's like on a timed basis. Did you see that red sports car run the red light? Yes, I did. Where is he? Oh, no. Did you see that red sports car run the red light? Uh, yeah, where did he go? I did see him. We're in pursuit. He's gone up there. Okay. Can we cut him off or do we have to just follow him or doesn't seem like we can go any faster than this right that's him i'm guessing is he going to turn yeah he is going to turn it's going quite fast oh he nearly crashed okay oh okay he's coming back down okay we should be able to catch him up a bit here i think wee woo wee woo wee woo okay how do we catch him <laughs> can we not go faster than this come on car we're in pursuit here. Do we have to use the... Use the... <sighs> Red light. And apparently we can't do that because I guess we didn't call it in. Ah, okay, fine. That's annoying because now we're going to have to go back to driving again. I might leave it on fast, honestly, because I feel like we've sort of got the hang of the, the car driving. Let's see if we can get straight back over to... Oh, Jesus, that was close. Um, let's see if we can get back over to where that, that red car was. And see if we can... Ooh, okay, maybe I'm a bit optimistic with this fast setting. Okay. Maybe the, the red car just... Hey, yeah, okay, so it does. So we just needed to come here. Right, so. Um, red car. Uh, use radio. 8332 parked on 1st Street. Uh, okay. H how do we call that in as a, as a thing? Okay, here he is. Here he is. How do we... I, d I did see him run the red light. How, d how do we pursue him? How do we, get, how do we call it in as a, as a crime or whatever? T turn on lights? Don't need to move it. Okay. I mean... I'm, I'm just going to do that because... I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do that with. <laughs> So the red the red car where did it go where did the red car go okay yeah well we're trying to we're trying to catch somebody so we can issue a ticket but i don't maybe we just hang around here until until somebody does it again let's see let's see if he comes back yeah yeah he did okay oh come on Really? Really? No. How do we crash into the car behind us when we were turning left? That doesn't seem right. Doesn't seem right at all. Um, well, we know what we're doing now, right? We're just waiting for this red car. T 
turn on siren. Use siren. Use lights. Find them quite illuminated. Okay, how do we... Okay, so we ran the red light. And he just crashes into us. Wonderful! Well, on that note... <laughs> We are out of time, so we will try and figure this out in the next one. Um, it's been a mixed bag this episode, hasn't it? But we're learning on the job. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcadies Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, and Numinous for all the support. And I will see you next time.